Okay, so I wanted to show what I'm having tomorrow for um, for my meals up until my afternoon snack. Uh, today I did pretty okay, and then um, I fit a donut into my macros. And then um, my friend said that they were making fajitas, so I totally went over and I went over on my carbs, but it was totally worth it. Um, it's okay, it happens. But I'm pretty sure I met my protein, so I'm happy with that. So tomorrow, uh, for breakfast, I'm going to go ahead and have one of these um, just because it's Friday and um, this one has some caffeine in it. So that will get me through tomorrow. Um, for my snack, I'm having my granola and Greek. I mean, I have that every day. Um, it's my, my probably my favorite snack. A tea for lunch. This is um, the ground beef and rotel I was talking about. Just with some broccoli. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of broccoli, but I don't want to make anything else. I want to finish the broccoli that I've made, so that's why I'm having it. And um, some. this is just white rice. Half a cup of white rice, about four ounces of the lean ground beef with some rotel, and then I just put some broccoli in there. And then, um, so then this is my afternoon snack. Uh, today, for my afternoon snack, I had a peach... And then I had, oh, I had some beef jerky, and I think I ate my peach, like, too soon after lunch because I was really hungry when I got off of work. So, um, meal timing, I think, is a personal choice. Some people prefer to save everything until the end of the day. Some people want, like, five or six balanced meals. Um, I think I typically do well with four to five meals. Maybe um, two snacks, um, two uh, two snacks and three like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But if you notice, like my breakfast is usually just a shake because in the morning I don't really need those carbs. Like I probably should have them because I just worked out, but I try and save those carbs more for the mid morning when right before lunch when I get real hungry. So it just you know it's a matter of adapting and seeing what your body needs but what I did here what I wanted to show you is how to use the food scale um because it's common sense and I didn't really know this until I watched another video and I felt really silly but like say you want to turn it on the scale can go by ounces or you can change it to grams grams is more um grams is more accurate so um for this purpose, I'm going to use grams because the serving size here, the recommended serving size, is too much, and I want to do half. So in this case, it's just easier for me to use grams. So I want to show you something. I know that's cottage cheese. Um, I measured it out. It's half a cup. So it shows it's 200 grams, right? But remember, it's also weighing this. But I don't care about the cottage cheese. I've already measured out what I needed. Uh, see how I just zeroed it out? I don't know if you saw that. Let me try it again. So I'm um, just going to zero it out again. So you put it on, and it's like 200 grams, so I'm going to zero it out. Because I want to put in 70 grams of cherry, because 70 grams of cherries is half of 140, so that's going to be 70 calories. So that will help me better um, portion out. Oh, sorry. So that's 50... Five, a couple more. Oh, I went over, I did 80, 82, or 80, I don't even know, I can't see. So yeah, that's pretty close, maybe one more try. There we go. So it went over, but it's okay. Um, so there we go. So that's just basically tomorrow. It, um... I guess it really doesn't look like a lot, but for me it's pretty good, and then it'll, I haven't even tracked it, so tomorrow when I track it, I'll know what I still have left, and then I can decide from there um, what to have for dinner, unless of course um, we have other plans, so hope that helps.